Welcome to our retirement, folks. Hiya, folks. Morning. <clears throat> Did you miss us yesterday? Oh, we're sorry about yesterday. We didn't have anything to say, did we? We did. We were a bit. We were. A bit. Mm. A bit. Mm. Miserable yesterday, weren't we? Yeah, for some reason. I don't know why. It's we're one of them on. days. Yeah, we're well, one of them days <laughs> where we just thought, mm. <laughs> See, even we have them. Off days. Off days. Yeah. Yesterday were an off day. In fact, I was saying to Pat earlier, mm. seems like a long week this week. It does, yeah. A long week. And yet we've been out. Went out on Wednesday. We went out Tuesday shopping. Um, you want too good on Monday, On Monday you? I want so good, so we didn't go shopping Monday. No. We went Tuesday instead. Maybe that's what upset the week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh dear. I went to pay Eileen yesterday at the yeah, storage yard. Yeah, I did chat with her, didn't you? Oh, I did, and heck. Do you know? You can't believe it, really. I mean, that boatyard down there, you know, the marina, there's, you go, you, I think you've seen bits of film of it here in mm. Rodley. And the, you go down to that bridge. And there's boats moored up, narrow boats moored up, uh, near the barge pub. Um, and then just a bit further along, there's people all, are living all the, the... Yeah, there are people who live in the, mm. the narrow boats that are moored up behind the boat yard. Um, the boat yard is run by an old man and his son. Um, oh, the, the old man don't do anything anymore. Um, yeah. It's his lad that really. He had knee operation, didn't he? Or rip operation. Yeah, I'm not sure which. Um, um, and they, the, the marine engineers, mm. um, they know all about boats. And um, Eileen calls it step to on sons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a boat yard, like a scrap yard, I suppose. <laughs> it is. There's, there's sort of boats in all sorts of states. Of disrepair mm. all over the place. Yeah, it is like that. Mm. Um, but it's tucked away in the back. And you won't think you'd have any trouble living there. Well, Eileen's house is tucked away in the daughter's, isn't it? Yeah. All sort of around the back. Yeah, it's, it's, there's, it's, it's like a spare parcel of land behind some in between some houses and the canal mm. really and the, the, there's two bungalow, bungalows built on it with a lot of land three three bungalows is there three yeah oh of course with, with the boat yard yeah, yeah. Mm. and I mean most of that land belongs to Eileen and, and her, her family. Her family. Um, and the, um, Eileen's family, are, they're retired as well now, but they were um, landscape gardeners. And, and Eileen is 93 or 4, can't remember exactly. Mm -hmm. um, unbelievable. For, um, she used to be. Uh, uh, keen cyclist she used to go racing when she was young and uh, she was she was telling me yesterday um, that the, her and her daughter rode to Jedborough from Leeds in one day on their bikes I mean that's a long way that's on edge of Scotland Jedborough um, so she was always been very fit and it stood her in good stead I think because she even, well, last, uh, last time I saw her, last week, I saw her last week and she was out in garden, do, doing gardening. So she she's still fairly active, even at, for her age. Yeah, 
She goes out on the bus, don't she? Shopping. And yeah. Yeah, she does. Yeah, she gets her, still gets about. But she was telling me, I'm getting this, I'm sidetracking this in here. She was telling me that they they have a, a big barn. There's, there's next to nothing in it. In fact, she said the only thing that were in it were two rotavators that had, were, were knackered and they wanted to get rid of them. <laughs> um, so they intended to get, get rid of them and they put them in there. Um, and they got somebody broke in and nicked them. So they really did them a favour by <laughs> nicking them, but not by breaking into the door. They yeah. had to change all the locks and that on, on this barn door. But I couldn't believe it when she told me. Um, mm. And then Boatyard, he were broken into. Um, and he caught them. He caught them. Didn't he? Caught them, yeah. caught them, got them, and told them if, he, if they ever came back, he'd kill them. And, and so much. And so much. <laughs> And, and, Bray, yeah. <laughs> um, and then there's the uh, ah. she had a pile of stuff at the back of one of the garages, didn't she? Yeah. That they were saving for bonfire night to set on fire. And in the middle of night somebody set it on fire. And one of the neighbours had to call fire brigade. So yeah. this little Area of Rodley that is. you'd think that nobody knows anything about. Mm. There you go, all this trouble. Who'd want to ignite a bonfire? Set, set it alight in the middle of night. Mm. Honest. Yeah. What are they doing out in the middle of night? Up there looking to steal things. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently there's been a spate of. Burglaries down in Rodley somewhere, aren't they? Don't yeah. know where, but they put it on on the. Um, they've got a little page, community, community page, and on you Facebook. keep seeing things. And there's a little black Labrador gone missing, and well, you dread to think, don't you? What the what what they've done with Labrador? Oh, yeah, where it's gone. Oh. Yeah. Well, that that um, person who tracing you, um, and <clears throat> they they had a dog walker, and usually walked it round Putsy, no, not Putsy, Orsforth Park, and decided on this particular occasion to come down on Canal, and she let it off. Well, when she let it off in Arsforth Park, it used to just, if it were fed up, it would just go home and sit on the step. But obviously, it were heading for home from here, but it had gone across fields, and we've got a river and a railway track, haven't we? And apparently, weeks and weeks later, the railway, a chap who were driving a train on there said, he hit a dog and um, it oh. turned out to be his, didn't it? Oh. His fellas. Oh. Yeah. So it maybe we're heading for home across fields because that heads up to us for the not it over yeah. that way. Mm. I don't know. Mm. But mm. this poor fella lost his pet dog and oh. very disturbed about it. So. You never know with it with animals, do you? What they're gonna do when you let them go off the lead if they're not trained to stay by you? And it were in an unfamiliar place, you see. It hadn't been down here before. Mm. Mm. But they've got a terrific smell, haven't they? I bet the, the dog walker feels terrible. Oh, I bet she does, or he does. I don't know which, but yeah. Yeah. Why they thought they could let it off mm. here in a strange place where it hadn't been before. Mm. Or it hadn't been that often, I don't know. I'm not, not quite sure about that, but yeah. It was one of them, um, <coughs> I think it was a 
a sort of a cockapoo type thing. Oh, all right. It? I have yeah. no idea, darling. Yeah, nice thing. Mm. Yeah, so now we've got notices up about the Black Labrador. <laughs> mm. Who knows? I t told you last time we spoke we were talking about this house, weren't we? Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What I didn't tell you then was um, that when we bought this house, it all most of this row was just a row of canal cottages here, and. When we bought this house, there were uh, an undertaker's, a baker's, a doctor's surgery. Is that it, Pat? Yeah, because next door we're all bricked up. Uh, this, this one here was a chemist. Um, the house next door to the one there um, were owned by a, a lady. And did she let her... What are children living in it or something? Do you remember? No. He, uh, she, she had a daughter. Uh, yeah. No. Who no. lived in it? The, they were doing. I don't want to get sidetracked. Going down okay. another corridor. I'm trying well, to. Uh, there were a few lived in and a few not. There was a few that were occupied. This one here was occupied by Mr. Bloom. It was a chemist. But most of them were bricked up mm. and they were owned by Leeds City Council and and next door which we bought first was uh, owned by Rodley Motors who stored all their American car spares in it and that's all it was. It was just a dumping ground for these American car spares. Um, so it Although we only paid a thousand quid for it, um, and we got it really cheap, it was a risky. We didn't actually believe we would have had it. We thought we might have it ten years, didn't we? Mm. We thought we might get ten years in it. Yeah. Um, we didn't really, we couldn't guarantee that. You know, We'd you know, have it, this bit of being family. The this council long. would want to compulsorily purchase it. Because they, they obviously intended pulling them down. Because um, all the ones they bought were bricked up and, mm. and they were derelict. So that, that was, it was a risk yeah. that paid off. But we, at the time... We didn't know that, did it, we? We weren't being clever. We weren't being entrepreneurial or, or, yeah. or super wise or informed. It, it was just, um, we were very, very fortunate because I, I embarked on doing it up myself. I didn't get, I didn't get anybody in. Apart from but Mick to do roof. Mick did the roof. Um, but apart from that, we, we sort of did it, I did it myself. And you can imagine what it was like. I mean, I'm not <laughs> uh, very... Oh, you did well. Not very. Anyway, it, it, it were all right. We made a little flat, a little area to live in it, and then three rooms for the gallery. Mm. And then after a year... Yeah, as we said, Mr Bloom offered us this. Offered us this. And, um, and then, and then and I re did the same with this, restored this as well as I could, and joined them both together mm. so that you could walk through them all, you know, from going no one rooms. door and go around all oh, lot, those six rooms to the gallery. Mm. Um, but at some point, a guy came into the shop and he, he told me to list it. Um, and I, I remember saying to him, yeah, I intend doing that. And he says, well, don't wait do it now and he gave me the address in london at ministry of historic buildings i, I think he even gave me the n name of a person mm. to write to um so who on earth this chap was i don't know but 
Uh, Thank you very much if you're still with us. If you're still with <laughs> us, yeah. Yeah, um, because I did. Um, Minister of Historic Buildings did list this property, but they not only listed this, they listed quite a few of them. Yeah, they listed a few more. Quite they? a few of them down here. And, and the ones that were owned by the council and bricked up the listed and all. Mm. So the council, um, it meant that they had to either do them up themselves or sell them. So the council decided to put them on the market. Um, and of course, when that happened, people bought them and did them up and they're still here. And quite, quite a valuable Yeah, yeah, asset. quite valuable properties yeah. now. Um, so it, it worked out. It worked out very lucrative, very good. Um, mm. But it, it could have not. Yeah. Um, I just, I didn't. I, I mean, it worked it's... out lucrative in the way that we pass, could pass it to Tracy for the same price we bought it for, because we'd, we'd rented it out and got, got rent for it for quite a few years, which yeah. meant that you didn't have to work as hard as some people, didn't it? Yep, yeah. That's we're... why you only did a couple of tunings a day, because, and, you know, because the rent made up for it, didn't it? Yeah. We, mm. I but, mean, that wasn't without trouble. We had an no. agent yes. in Leeds, and you, you'd be surprised that the agent even tried to fiddle us. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah, and we had, we had some bloody that legged it. Yeah. Um, without paying the rent and we had to change locks. So we had, we had a few. Yeah. But Until eventually, Mrs. Jackson came. Yeah, when Mrs. Jackson took it over, um, she ran the Rod, it was Rodley Pine. She Pine. ran that for quite a few years, didn't she? A long she, time, then? yeah. And it yeah. was when Mrs. Jackson retired. She decided to give it up. Give it didn't up. She? Yeah. Um, we asked Tracy, because Tracy was looking for somewhere um, to, to live herself because she'd been living in rented accommodation in Keithley and she was looking for somewhere. Um, so we, we asked Tracy if she wanted it. Mm. And um, as we said, we, we let her have it for what we paid for it mm. because it, it won't. didn't owe us anything. No, it didn't owe us anything and it won't done up really. There were a lot no, of dismantling to do. There was no living accommodation in it because Mrs. Jackson made all the rooms into fine furniture. Yeah. She showers. actually built a room inside this <laughs> kitchen yes, of did. pine so that she could put little bits in that, didn't she? Instead of doing the room up, yeah. she just built a box. A box inside the room. Yeah. Yeah, it was weird that. Yeah. So there were a door there that you came to know. Yeah, there was over there. There were a door, yeah. and if you come down these steps, you could just see this big, great Pine big box. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That must have been about eight foot square. Oh yeah, it was quite a big box, wasn't yeah. it? Coming into this room, might, might have been a bit bigger. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So Tracy, Tracy and David had a. a a heck of a job on their hands, like to, dismantling things, and to, then I mean they lived in it while they did it up. I can remember when our Tracy um, were expecting Alethea, and all windows were just boarded up. There were no glass in them or anything. No. Well, the because David built, his, made his own window frames out mm. of oak. Um, and also, they had, they did have someone to do all the pointing at the back and put new mullions. Some of the mullions, stone mullions, were cracked. Mm. So they had to have them replaced. Uh, so they had somebody to do that. Mm. Um, David didn't want to tackle that job. No. Uh, he, 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 put, he put more tie bars through, didn't he? Put, yeah, a lot more. We put two. Two. Two tie bars through when we lived here. Because mm. um, the the back wall is has a bow in it, but it has them brick things up against walls. Mullions. 
Yeah. Um, but David put a lot more time bars in it. Uh, took, as I say, it took a long time. Mm. 15 years all, all told, I reckon. And all that time, David's dad and mum mm. come in every weekend yeah, to did. help them. Mm. I mean, David's dad were a Trojan, wasn't he? He was. He was. Yeah, I mean, he was getting on, but he still did. Yeah. Did all Looked sorts, all day didn't till he? Till yeah. about 7 o'clock at night on a Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, he did. I don't yeah. know how he did it. And mm -hmm. Maureen did. She wasn't as bad as she was at, 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 towards the end of her life. But she she used to do ironing all day. I, 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 <laughs> I just must have had, she had piles of it. Especially, I suppose with Alethea being a baby, she had loads of stuff that needed ironing, you know. Um, and, I mean, Tracy got that. Um, dis dysplasia of the hips, was it, when she were having her Alethea? Something like that. Yeah. She, were, she ended up on crutches. And when Alethea were born, she could hardly walk. Um, and I came to stay for quite a while, didn't I? Yeah. Because she couldn't even get off, off her bed to go to a, a chest of drawers where she had a, a baby thing to change... Alethea's nappy, because she couldn't stand properly. I'm trying to think what I call it. What, that thing that she got? Sort of PhD or something, yeah. is it? Yeah, something like that. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. She started to get it early on in pregnancy, mm. didn't she? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And she ended up on crutches. She couldn't even get down across her edge. No, I know. She couldn't lift her leg up. She couldn't lift high her enough. foot up. High enough. High enough she? to get up, up the coarser edge. No. Do you, do you know what we mean by coarser edge? The um, pavement. Pa pavement where it steps down to the road. That's what we call a coarser edge. Coarser edge. edge. That's a funny yeah. word, isn't it? It is a funny name, but mm. that's what we've always called it, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. So, so that's just, yeah. A bit of a funny time. Oh, that was. Yeah. Man, they were all a funny time, really. Yeah. Maureen used to bring big pans of, um, like, stew stuff that, um, oh, his dad, David's dad had made. He used to make these big pans of yeah. stuff, didn't he? And she'd bring them for tea and everybody, so they wouldn't have to stop and cook. Right. I'm trying to think what it was she used to bring. Was it just a vegetable stew? Or did no it have meat in? I don't know. I can't remember now. I don't know to that. Though. She used to bring something. Oh, uh, don't know. In pans. They were very good. They were really well, weren't they? Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, and of course, Bill knew a lot um, about, he knew a bit, a bit of, about plumbing and. Yeah. Um, yeah, David with plumbing and eating and. Oh, other things. He, he built that stone wall out at back in the garden. Oh, he did, yeah. Did Bill? Yeah, he did. So there you go. Aye. <laughs> the life of Ryan. Rodley Town, Town Street. <laughs> okay, yeah. folks. I'm what? I'm hot. He's getting hot again. I'm hot. Will the eating still be on? Well, it won't be on. No, it's too you warm, put it isn't on it? this morning. Earlier yeah. on, yeah. Okay, folks. See you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, well, it's weekend, so you yeah. never know. Bye, everybody. Bye.